I swear I got a video for everything. <laughs> like, all right, so I'm in Brooklyn, and so I'm driving, and this guy, he like swerves a little bit, so I swerve. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So I see another guy on this side. It's two lanes. I'm on the far left. I see another guy on the far on the far right lot, far far right lane. He's talking to the guy that's that swerved in my lane. And he's like. He, he, the, first, the, the, the Spanish guy, he's calm and stuff like that. And I just see him getting getting crazy, you know? And then he's like, yeah, go get your gun. Get your gun. Get your gun. And then I'm like, oh, my gosh. And it's funny because the dude he's arguing with, is he's a black dude. The black dude looks like he's in his 50s. Gray beard. Not gray beard, but gray patchy. It's, it's gray, but it's like... It's not out. It's just it's just great. He looks oldish and he looks like he ain't got shit going on. Okay? He looks he looks old. He his head his hat was cocked back. Looking 50 plus. Hat cocked back. Um and you could just tell like his eyes look yellowish, maybe like drinking. You know, you could just tell nigga ain't got nothing going on. Okay? And you have to be listen, I don't say I'm not saying this to anybody directly. This for me personally, but it's a reminder to myself. We have to be very careful when dealing with people. Because whatever they was about to get into is because of driving and shit, right? And so even myself, y'all seen it. Yeah, yeah, if y'all been here, y'all know I'll be wilding out driving. But again, the last thing you want to do is get involved with some dude who doesn't have anything going on. The most dangerous man is a dangerous man is a man with nothing to lose, nothing going on. They're willing to willing to just do shit on the fly because they feel a way. You know, emotional niggas. Um, there was a video on World Star with a guy. It was over a cell. Phone. The, the the scripture said it was about a cell phone, and you can this guy literally mad people around on camera. This guy killed the dude. I'm sorry, off the dude. Over a cell phone. And this is why for me, I move very carefully. I move by myself because I understand we are in desperate times. I understand that people are hurting. And people are hurting because of our own bad decisions. Okay? If you're broke today, you wasn't broke five years ago or a year ago or three years ago or four years ago. You're broke because of what you've consistently done over time that has led you to continuously be broke. That's it. And I know, I know I'm not trying to um, downplay the significance of what's going on economically. I, I speak this for myself as well. We are where we are because of what we did or did not do for years. And just seeing that older gentleman, gray, you know, grayish facial hair, braids in his hair, head cocked back. He just looked like a, he looked like a, a, a broke street dude, you know, and I'm not here to judge or put down anybody. It's just, yo, stay away from people that don't have anything going on. Stay away from people who are quick. See, I would just be on some shit like, yo, let's just fight it out. Let's just go one on one. I, I, I wish, I wish that I was promoted more. Let's just grab some gloves, go at it one on one. Whoever wins, whoever loses, that's it. But we both walk away and go about our business. But you know, that's not, that's not life anymore. You know, even, even learning and understand, knowing martial arts. Niggas will shoot your ass. Even if you win, they'll come back and shoot you. You know, so I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Later.